Yeah, sir. The YouTube link has been started. Yes, uh, sir. You can raise your hand. So, if when required, Dinesh sir can unmute you. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Don't worry. Jai sir. Uh, Dinesh sir, yeah, yeah. Like uh, when I will invite Jay sir, please. Uh, that time you unmute them. Okay, it's better that Jay sir raise hand actually. Uh, Jay, Jay sir, are you there? Please raise your hand so Dinesh sir can. Because there are many participants. What yes, yes, sir. I can. Doesn't, doesn't, I know. This is ascending order, so it, it's slightly difficult to search name. Yeah, I got him. I yes. Yeah. Uh, Jai sir, please unmute from your side and please click uh, raise hand in the Zoom. Yes, yes, he has done, sir. He has raised his hand. Jai sir, please unmute from your side. I have, yeah. Yes, audible. yes, sir. My voice is audible. Yeah, perfectly. Okay. Yes, yes. Sir, you guys, sir, tell me. You, when we start, we will recording start. Karlenge. Yes, so we can start and then you can keep uh, participants admitting them. Yeah, yeah. Right now there are fifty six. Around... Yes, fifty six is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sir. Seven three zero eight. Yeah, eight. Hmm. Just wait. I'll start recording and uh, yoga sir, Suresh sir, ready? Ah, huh, yes, sir. Yes, please. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so first of all, uh, good afternoon to everyone, and I welcome you all on behalf of Navarashtra University for this webinar uh, on the title that jobs and careers in the software and IT industry post the COVID nineteen era. And today we have speaker with us, Mr. Suresh Bulusu. He is associated with Navarashtra University for quite a long time, for last two to three years with us for. Uh, setting the center of excellence by IBM in the field of IoT. So we had a long companionship with Suresh sir, and I am also thankful to him for accepting our request to deliver the talk on this topic. Uh, especially, uh, it is very important for all the CSE, IT, and BCA students who look their future in software and IT industry. So this talk will be very useful. Uh, this talk can. Tell us exactly that in a what way we should prepare now, or in what way we should change our preparations to face the market, uh, which is there after this, especially the pandemic situation. And I request now, Jai sir, to please welcome the speaker. Okay. Uh, the speaker, please. Thank you, Yogesh sir, and uh, I am just uh, adding. uh to yogeshwar words that uh, you know since uh, pandemic has been started it has altered the economics and budgets of nations and individuals prevalently so in this pandemic situation also there is a proverb that this too shall pass ye bhi pass ho jayega so there is a hope there is a strength in this pandemic situation and that is why we are gathered right now to discuss about some hopes and opportunities in our uh, computer field 
so uh, i welcome all the participants uh, uh, mr uh, uh, suresh bolusu sir i welcome you uh, welcome you from the cst department and uh, navrashna university family uh, participants uh, he is a business transformation leader successfully delivered organization business goals by leading change collaborating and uh, navigating through complex enterprise environment uh, over 35 years in the information technology industry performing leadership roles across manufacturing it services uh, he has established it hiring practice including strategy budget and business model for a leading executive search organization successfully he has also designed and implemented a robust resource planning and resource management strategy uh, partnered with vendors to staff project and ftc resources he has developed and implemented a comprehensive end to end talent management process recommended a mix of fte ftc and campus hires he has also conducted employee engagement activities including training mentoring and coaching so uh, let's discuss about the jobs and career in a software and it industry post covid 19 i'll uh, i welcome you sir again on behalf of our csc department and uh, navrashna family over to you sir thank you so much uh, uh, mr jay mehta thank you yogeshi and uh, thank you dinesh ji thank you sir it's a pleasure to again connect back to navrashna as you said it's a family and i've been associated with you for over 3 years and it's my privilege to uh, you know, come over and speak to the young minds and uh, i pride myself saying that you know as as i grow older my ability to take risks diminishes because i'm a lot more careful but when you're young and i think when i met uh, your students for the first time when we set up the center of excellence for ioc this what i told them that what you carry with you is very unique over next few years fail not to remember not to fail yourself in not taking the risk at the right time so i always keep saying that think outside the box is only when you take a risk and say that yes i want to do things a little different having said that uh, today i have an opportunity to talk to you about uh, post covid in fact uh, many universities affiliated uh, and associated with the ibm and also some of them whom I'm, i know personally have invited me to speak on uh, various topics and uh, i'm glad that i'm able to talk to you about uh, how this preparation is to be done i'm going to go through uh, six or seven uh, slides what i would request uh, all the students is uh, make a note of any questions you have in this case and no question is a silly question a question is a silly question if you don't have an answer for that okay it might be in your mind and you don't have an answer whom should i ask an answer for and what kind of an answer is going to satisfy me all these would be there i would be very uh, interested to know i pride myself thinking that you know the bunch of students i met the first time in navrashna in one of the makeshift uh, uh, classroom because that day there was an event going on in the hall and we had we had the uh, three batches if i remember right 60 60 60 students had turned up and the number of questions that were fired at me were amazing so i'm hoping that you will keep up the tradition of asking questions and if i if i'm not able to uh, answer any of your questions i'll eat humble pie and i'll come back with an answer to you but so that said let me jump into the uh, presentation mode and uh, i'm going to uh, share my screen let me know if you can see my screen all of you uh, sir can you see my screen please yes sir okay all right so okay so covid covid has created such a big uh, uh, terror for all of us in our minds and uh, you know this is something where it's a very uh, important thing for us to note that when hey, everything is hunky dory everybody knows everything technology is on the top you know companies are making money world economy is booming you know man is going to the mars is planning to go to jupiter and what not and you know people can travel to the space and thing like that something which is so insignificant you know we never had a plan for this and not that we didn't have history we never had a plan for this it just came over and took over the entire globe right nobody can step out of the house without having the fear in their mind saying 
what is going to happen to me what is going to happen to my family and so on so covid has created a kind of awareness within ourselves but deep down we have to go back and look at what is this awareness it is a little gray we have to make it black and white is it an economy related awareness is it a job related awareness it is a health related awareness so i'm going to talk to you about a few of these points according to me what i felt are relevant for this uh, meeting okay so what are the questions that come into somebody's mind here are a bunch of them what is covid 19 what is a pandemic what are the current statistics of the globe what has the uh, government of india done so far you know every time we talk about it each government it is relevant for us to understand what is indian government has done so far and when i talk about indian government is the central government and the state governments we are trying to do something to help people to get out of the situation and have control on what's happening what are your thoughts you know what are your fears what is going to happen so these are some of the things which is there and we have something more what about our jobs you are fresh grads maybe in a couple of years or in a year you're going to pass out of your btech uh, with a degree and then you're going to go into the market to search for something what is going to happen are there enough jobs there what kind of jobs are there are they going to pay uh, enough salaries for me i spent so much money you know earning this degree i have promised myself that i will buy a new car i'll buy a new home whatever so we have to look at saying what is it going to be affecting us and how are we going to look at it so my dear young friends what i want to point to you at this point in time is whatever the challenge is whether it is covid 19 or it is a bun that is happening or there is an economic crisis or whatever we have to be prepared for the ultimate we have to pre be prepared for situations like this to happen at the same time the second track you know there are two things that happen one is i prepare myself for exigencies or emergencies or what we call in our corporate term as plan b we have a plan a and then there is a plan b that, that is going to happen sometimes we have to have a plan c and plan d also so when a rocket is going to be launched especially from uh, north america they have a plan you know first of all to send the rocket creating any uh, effect or uh, any bad effect on the surroundings on the environment or the people around them so they have the plan also fixed in there similarly when we talk you you stepping into the career or the future or jobs when you talk about a job it is just one transaction what actually happens in career so if i say that i have worked for 35 years the 35 different transaction every so i was able to take care of myself in a situation where there is competition there are people who are better than me there are opportunities which i did not see there are times when i did not perform well so all these things will come in, come into matter that is your plan a so you have to be a better person person and better plan go forward for, for example you start school you would have le uh, the letters would have made you in a b c d e were alphabets then you started making words with them a n d and a you are a such a suresh and uh, uh, in uh, all these words started making something so you had to let go of the letters to make words then you started the full sentence so i had to let go of the words and then uh, when i started looking at the sentences i started writing stories i started writing essays i started writing answers in my question papers and answer books then i had to let go of the phrases and the paragraphs also so i had to let go of something i had to learn something i had to learn. i started becoming better and better and better another example how we used to do calculation when we were in school we used to buy hard tables today when we are moving towards uh, being an engineer and things like that we do a lot more complex things as as we go, go move, move forward in the same way when you look at it it is hygiene for us to understand that our communication has to be better our punctuality has to be better our preparation has to be better our research has to be better so everything has to be better at the same time you should be able to talk with a lot of confidence and conviction on the subject of your So today, if somebody comes and asks you, "What is COVID?" Oh, COVID! Oh, it's some um, influenza, influenza kind of a thing. No, we have to have. You are engineers. Engineers are supposed to communicate very, very well. Your analytical ability is very, very high. You know, you have to communicate pretty clearly. That's the reason I said, let's we understand what is COVID nineteen. How is it a pandemic? What becomes a pandemic? And then we have to also understand the latest news in terms of what are the current statistics of this. So, is it uh, hurting or is it uh, becoming fatal or is it becoming better? Are we becoming better and things like that? Then more closely at home, what is government of India doing that? So you look at how I've tried to put the things in your mind and then look at your job. So you you have a perspective of what is my environment looking like. So if it is raining, I'll carry an umbrella. 
if it is very hot and warm i'll wear my uh, goggles and i'll wear a cap and i'll go i won't carry a, a raincoat when it is very hot so those kind of things we'll have to look at one important thing which i want to people to understand is like you know uh, we, we all know what is mind i'm expecting all of us know what is mind we all know what is intellect but do we know how this has to be interchanged how this has to be used and what benefits do we get out of that and i am also going to tell you a few stories on mind and intellect which will basically help you to understand when i should control my mind and when intellect should spring up and come out of the uh, bottom into the top so as human beings we are all made up of what uh, hello can you people hear me hello yes sir we can hear you sir okay. because there was a change in the screen and i'm wondering as humans we are made up of matter spirit and we will have to move this bar down okay as human beings we are made of matter and spirit so let us focus on matter spirit is something which is our soul we call it the different things and so on i don't want to get into that but what is matter made up made up of matter is made up of three different things one is the body second is the mind and third is the intellect what is the body we all know what the body is the skin limbs bone all those things make your uh, body what is the mind mind is the home of all your emotions i like something i dislike something i hate that you know i am full of vengeful uh, things i am jealous i i i am charmed by something so this is where the this is a seat of emotions you know i associate if i like sweets the moment i see somebody giving me a gulab jamun my emotions are oh i like this guy i like the sweet you know my entire uh, body and my 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 mind starts taking me over into that emotional state and when i am emotional i will do things which my mind is asking me to do in that emotion if i see something which i am not happy with i become sad then that emotion captures me if i feel something i don't like you know for example if i am talking to you about something which you don't like at all then you you're not even going to listen so this is what the mind does mind is the seat for all emotions it's important emotions are very very important what is intellect intellect actually tells you what you are hearing what you are seeing what you are analyzing it is logical it tells you that you know if you look at something and if you look at uh, something with more details then you will know why you don't like it and why you like it let me give you some small uh, stories over here you know there was one person who used to be a chain smoker he used to smoke and smoke and smoke and there are a lot of people who told him don't smoke don't smoke he just wouldn't listen because the mind this mind is telling him yes this is a time for me to go for a cigarette i'll have to go smoke then he fell in love with a girl now his to be his fiance to be his wife told him that listen unless you stop quitting to smoke i'm not going to get married to you now here an another emotion which is stronger than the smoking came in and then what happens he decides to uh, actually look at uh, something saying that you know what you're talking about uh, is not something which is uh, i like so i like to find out how i can def- uh, do something to quit smoking now when i go into quit smoking what i'm going to do i'm smoking 10 cigarettes a day i'm smoking 12 cigarettes a day so he said okay i'll cut my cigarettes now if i'm going to smoke 10 let me do a gradual pull down and let me only smoke 5 3 2 1 and so he plans and he quits over that and in the meanwhile what happens is like you know his intellect which is giving him data that you are smoking you are smoking your 10 cigarettes a day has actually pushed up and told him that now quit smoking this is one one way of looking at it take another example where somebody is dieting i am very heavy and i have to diet now his mind is full of his or her mind is full of saying that i want to eat this food i don't want to miss eating uh, this feast which is happening and so on again the intellect pushes up saying that you will not lose 3 kilos or you will not use 1 inch in your middle if you start doing all these things so this is something again which is going to happen now when you talking about uh, you know exercise you have to get up at 5:30 in the morning wear your running shoes and go for a run the mind says hey, come on one day suresh just lie down for one day it doesn't matter no, you're not going to lose much so the mind is again forcing you relax sleep you like enjoy it but the intellect says no suresh you, yesterday you ran 3 uh, uh, kilometers today you promise yourself to run 4 kilometers if you don't do it you're going to miss something so the intellect pushes you away these are small examples apply this to something which you're going to do in terms of your exams how do you prepare for your exams 
you are preparing for let's say thermodynamic exam in uh, or you are preparing for something else and then what happens is something comes your way and somebody comes and says are don't read this chapter this is not important now what happens is suddenly you say are this fellow scored uh, 100 out of 100 in his unit test and therefore he should be definitely uh, knowing something so i will not uh, read this i will read this now you are left something which you have done halfway you are not completed this and you have moved away so this is a kind of emotional thing which happens now data is being given to you saying that that person has scored 100 but again it is playing with your mind it's not letting you finish what you wanted to start similarly when you apply for a job you have to research about the company you have to know more about what kind of jobs are giving you have to look at the feedback of the people who are working there you have to look at the salary scales and those kind of thing you have to research before you get it just because somebody says reliance is a great job a great company infosys is a fantastic company city bank is another great company you join a great company and then what you don't have any data to go for so what i'm telling trying to tell you is emotions and intellect they have to be used uh, very very uh, appropriately at times when you see things that need to happen in your space the way to assess is we are being controlled by your intellect is to observe how you feel if you feel angry or sad or depressed or happy you know that means emotions are it's logical and i agree with what it's saying then your intellect has taken control on that usually our mind and intellect control which is not you have to make a decision especially an important one it should be done only with the intellect and not with the mind i am actually pushing this a little more hard into your mind saying that use your intellect to take decisions you have one job offer you have got another job offer you have to decide between the two you write down a list of priorities is it uh, the location is good the, is is it uh, paying well is it going to uh, actually i harness my learnings and my qualifications what kind of feedback do i have do I have whatever your 10 10 or 7 or something like that i usually when i when i started looking for a job in my career i used to write down 10 points in uh, i used to live in uh, bombay and then you know distance was something so i used to make sure that you know, do i have to travel by train that is to be priority salary designation of at least 7 to 8 of them have to be in my favor only then i will go and join so that is intellect so you have to use your intellect and not because my uncle referred me my friend referred me or somebody offered me a job because uh, i'm a great guy you have to look at what are the data available there okay moving to the next one when you talk about readiness i have put a small small chart over here what is qualification qualification is btech i i have completed my btech how do i explain to somebody what did i learn in my btech so when say what have you done oh i am an engineer in computer science but you know what i really enjoyed working in electronic design i worked in uh, iot embedded systems i understand the sensors i understand how the sensors can be connected to the computer and can give a solution so a little bit you know two three lines is just saying i am a btech in computer science okay then certification so why did i take a certification that i wanted to do what was the necessity is it a global standard is it a local standard is it all good to have a certificate so please understand you know communication has to be complete it cannot be just one line saying i have certified myself as a certified ethical hacker so why did i go and certify myself as an ethical hacker when i i'm a programmer if i'm an infrastructure engineer it could be different knowledge what did i gain out of this you know by doing something like python or by doing something like internet of uh, things when i learned embedded systems i used raspberry pi i connected a circuit and thing like that what did i know i realized that the world is using technology more as a game changer enablement is all over i am a techno technology enabled company is all over it's a game changer now game changer is much bigger you know we use technology for larger gains whether it is in the form of services or products we look at that then network i always look at it uh, you know in ibm there's a saying which said not work network network is very very important i i like to meet people i like to uh, meet new people i talk to them and things like what do i get out of them when i come and meet somebody i see is there any value we can contribute to each other mutually agreeable contribution can we have and many many times you won't believe that i have actually gone into and met people because of whom we have got business so network for value how do you network doesn't mean that you know you go and talk to somebody who is in a different line of business does not know something which you want similarly it doesn't mean that you go and talk to somebody who is in your line of business and can tell you something which you want it, it all depends on how you approach that you have to in your mind you have to think of what questions i can ask this person which will help me to understand whether he or she can help me and think that preparation when you talk about preparation what do you understand by preparation uh, there is something called swot swot is what swot is strength weakness opportunities and threats now let's go back and look at networking not everybody is capable of creating a story of something and say that i can network with 
But today, when you talk about social media, there's LinkedIn, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's WhatsApp. What do you do with all these things? You keep writing stories. You read something which somebody says. There's some information which could be right or wrong and things like that. But do you know if you want to go on, somebody is writing some very good stuff. You know, your friend. Let's say that uh, there's a person called Ramesh. Ramesh is writing some very good stuff. Have I gone to find out who's Ramesh? I clicked on LinkedIn, seen his profile. Okay, Ramesh is working for an IT company. I definitely should keep him as a mentor if he's senior to me. Or if he's a, or on my age, I should have a friend like him and things like that. So that is how I'm talking about looking at. network of value old boys association so there are students who are passed out of uh, various uh, institutions the school or college and then do you associate it with them have you gone to the uh, old boys association which your uh, institution must be maintaining and finding out who is where somebody has joined amazon one of the best companies in the world somebody has joined uh, you know a, a bank like uh, city bank it's a great company in the world somebody has joined american airlines so we may want to find out saying that is there any way i can reach out to them and saying hey listen i am also studying in the same institution and i would like to connect up with you we are old boys so that's they are uh, looking at it faculty members there are some very uh, you know great people in your faculty you have write, written white papers they have worked in the industry they have come back and for them for chasing their own passion or for whatever reason they have come into education and become a faculty have you reached out to them and find out like you know uh, what is the byret of these people looking at and is there some way they can help me and so on similarly placement office you know placement office is only seen in the third year or probably in the fourth year when you are supposed to go and uh, uh, do some uh, you know work around getting some placement placement usually there's a director which is heading who's heading that at the same time they also talk about training we don't want to look at all those training so there's no investment which is being done placement office is where they have the direct connection to the industry have you sat down and spoken to the placement director say what are the companies what do you know is there a white paper on abb or jyotis or you know siemens or something like that is there a white paper on amazon or flipkart or something like that you have to find out what are what are the details that they have captured which can help you to understand are my likings in line with what the company is offering so that is something called networking preparation as i said strength weakness opportunities and uh, threats you have to know yourself if suresh what is what is suresh is suresh a very uh, emotional kind of a person is he a very data led kind of a person is a boring person is a sports person you need to know what the, what are your two or three top uh, areas which bring out a lot of things and i'm my passion you know my day job was computers but i'm a certified coach because i like teaching and training i like to talk to young minds and see what they can uh, bring out in this world so that is one of my strengths rate yourself on a scale of 5 is 5 is the highest where are you in terms of technology in terms of learning in terms of applying in terms of researching in each one of these ways and if you are in 3 aim to be in 4 what do i need to go from 3 to 4 or 3 to 4 and a half and things like that that you need to find out practice your pitch unless you practice like for example this presentation i'm making to you i practiced it four times science tells that if you practice anything four times it will sit in your mind so well that you will be able to do it very well now i'm i'm so old that with 35 years of experience i've made so many presentations sometimes it becomes easy for me but many times i have to learn to pitch properly i cannot be too fast i have to look at my audience those kind of things will also come in so if i'm talking to somebody who is very very uh, you know impatient i'll have to do it faster somebody who is very slow i may want to meet his or her pace and things like that so that is where you know how to pitch here you look at what are the expected questions that can come up you look at the expected responses that you are going to give so you go to a interview and the hr person asks tell me something about yourself have you decided what is the something you are going to tell him it may not be something which is already there in the resume because the resume is in front of him you may want to tell him in a, like a story anything which is conveyed in the form of a story has got a beginning has got a middle and has got an end so they will say okay they can see, they can connect with you very well so think about what is the something i want to tell him he will ask you what are your three strengths i can't say i am a hard working person every company expects people to be hard working if you are not hard working you are not needed there okay so that is a very uh, uh, said that i saw their project my project was this but i like that project and there is no bias over this so you can look at that you talk about uh, other hr question saying that you know uh, what is your three year plan i don't have a three year plan i have not thought of a three year plan i am talking about just year from now i am going to be doing very well in the first year so then i will plan for my future some interesting answer which is different when you have to also look at supposing if you are not going in for a job 
if you are going for higher studies have you shortlisted the universities either in india or uh, uh, you know abroad have you written the cat or you have written the ielts for canada australia and other places or your other exam for uh, these places in america you have to look at that then you go and tell your parents listen i have done this work and therefore i want to go abroad to study my ma- do my masters either in management or in technology if you are looking at starting your own uh, business you are going to be doing a startup or going to be an entrepreneur do you understand what are the tax liabilities in this company what are the tax payment details in this company do you know how to register the company in, in this country do you know what is uh, the uh, resources you require do you have references from people saying that yes he is a good guy he understands thing and therefore i think he should be setting it up and then do you have a mentor those kind of things are all required that is preparation what is planning planning is something which you have as plan a plan b and plan c as i told you like you know what do i want what do i want what is my objective what do i have what do i have with you so it is like a question we ask in school like you know you have 12 apples you gave six to peter how many apples are you left with what do i want what do i have what are the plus points that i have got what are the challenges that i am going to face how am i going to overcome these challenges what research have i done on firms jobs business products services have what research i have done is this research i can put across in a form of a table and understand that yes this is going to help me and this is not going to help me those are the kind of things you done now you should have a plan b also supposing you spend 3 months 6 months 9 whatever you give yourself time and say that six suresh i am giving you 9 months to start a business if you are able to do something fine otherwise you jump into doing a job so i give 9 months do i have a plan b if it doesn't work in 9 months what do i do i'll tell you many times you know my sons both of them are now working and uh, one of my son, my younger son's friend in uh, btech uh, he finished his btech with honors in bangalore and then uh, he went to apply for his ias he studied very hard he, his father told him only one thing you will do your uh, uh, ias exam once if it fails you will go and do a mba you have to write your cat he didn't get through he wrote cat he got it in uh, j- uh, this uh, general bajaj and today he is earning his uh, uh, first job is earning over 10 lakhs so you have to look at uh, how do i keep those things in mind then we look at uh, execution of the plan what is the execution of the plan i have a plan it is 30000 feet high i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this but i have to take steps to do that you know first if i want to build a company i need to register a company i need to get a domain name i need to understand what my business is going to be i have to write something i have to get a license so execution of something if i'm going to write an exam what am i going to do i have to sit and study i have to plan i will look at the past question papers i will look at what has been taught now i will look at how do i translate that i will look at how my answer can stand out better than the others if i'm looking for a job similarly i have to do a lot of things like that so this is the execution part which you're talking about so opportunities now if you look at opportunities i have listed some of them but there could be many more healthcare healthcare today by by large is the place where technology is a game changer today you look at healthcare from global it has become local there are a lot of people who are coming to india from africa from middle east from the far east for surgeries okay now if you look at uh, med- medicine or how it is being done uh, medical service how it is being done is from prescriptive it has become preventive it has become from sickness to health if you look at all these things so if i have got a diabetes uh, if i have got diabetes as a disease i have a small thing which i can put over here small which will vibrate when it's time for me to take my medicine for diabetes that is the kind of thing iot has got uh, so much of thing that you can have uh, healthcare delivered at home for you remotely okay so a lot of examples over there tech is a truly game changer now when the second one is agriculture i mean all of you know that no food that science is something which nobody has understood how does you know uh, i put plant something and grows it becomes rice uh, rabi curry uh, whatever your maize and millets and whatever your fruits and flowers you know we can call it anything you call it uh, somebody is sitting up there doing something or it is some science and thing like that but agriculture requires technology so much you know starting and stopping of pumps starting and stopping of power utilization using technology for threshing for collecting of the farm good taking it from their logistics applying logistics doing analytics so many different things which are there agriculture is supposed to be one of the key area for applying of technology post covid that is the biggest thing you have to look at and we have to look at how we can definitely contribute in this space the third area i put it on uh, put on is called gig or on demand gig has got no expansion it's just a slack on demand is you know freelancing independent work 
project based you know these kind of thing which are there so these are plenty of these available if you go to any one of these sites if you go to jules towards j o u l e s t o w a t t s dot com you can apply your resume and they will ask you rate yourself on all these things and you can be a python programmer you can be a a mainframe programmer you can be a java programmer you can be an oracle database analyst whatever if you have the capability you can go there so these are job which are time bound effort bound and they are going to be you know many which you are looking at work from home i can work from home in fact i can show you a lot of free site with there if you go and type on your uh, uh, browsers you know work from home opportunities and thing like that you'll get right from data entry to php programming to virtual assistant to what not you'll get a lot of thing you have to choose something and then you can apply for that and i am suggest saying that even if you get a full time job this work from home is something which you can do over the weekend because it can one can be your livelihood the second can be your passion it could be photography i upload photographs to shutterstock when you talk about that you pay a lot of money for that write articles if you have got very good uh, linguistic skills coding if you have got coding you can do that and you will you will keep on sharpening your skills you look at it work from home but what is required for work from home you need technology you need equipment you need networking which is not failing you need power backup which is required you need silence and you need a environment which is conducive for your work so you look at all this preparation that is required to work from home multiple jobs i told you about it, how you can take up multiple jobs and things like that then you look at uh, startups and entrepreneurship we just spoke about that what is a startup a startup is an idea which is in your mind which is so uh, complete that you can bring out a service or a product so you need to have a mentor you need to have a guide you need to have enough resources around you to go for startup but there are plenty of startup in this age of post covid what kind of startups can be there they can be multiple startups they could be definitely healthcare startups you saw that apps dozens of apps which are coming out and things like that no manufacturing they are saying that you know you can have only one third of people in every shift if you had 100 people you can have only 30 people in three shifts you can have only 30 30 30 how do i ensure that my production is uh, sufficient in terms of the uh, demand meeting the demand and so on think of something which comes up there consumption of power during that time during peak hours how can i generate more output so think of what kind of apps i can bring out there what kind of services i can bring out there similarly when you talk about uh, transportation today when you talk about uh, transportation the technology is changing and now we are going to step into 5g now you look at how many people are using zoom or cisco webex or whatever team viewer or duo or google meet and thing like that for delivering their session because we cannot wait covid has created the capability for us to be close while we are remote earlier we had to fly now the airline companies are all shut down because of this uh, a virus now basically it may mean that the airlines come the companies the revenue and number of flight may diminish completely but that is a different point too that's a more point which we'll talk about it later but we'll have to look at this is something which will not go away the remote way of looking at it so the opportunities we are looking at today is in terms of uh, what you call uh, 5g artificial intelligence machine learning iot so if you look at it uh, Uh, in the hardware space what has happened with all these virtual things happening schools and colleges and offices working laptop sales have gone up computer sales have gone up people are buying wifi equipment people are buying inverters people are making sure that they have uh, you know enough and more resources like a monitor for connecting speakers you know the whole lot of ecosystem has now developed and therefore business is increasing there when you look at it we have to also look out for the challenges that is throwing up from there not everything is uh, hunky dory there are some things which are looking at like you know there's a slow down in us when we say in india that we are global maximum amount of work that we get which is outsourced to us from anywhere is from us i'm sure you like it then comes india then comes uh, paris and then comes australia and things like that not at the same scale as those areas now why work is not coming for us because there is a big uh, america is leading in in the number of infections number of death and uh, there are also a lot of joblessness over there technology is something which uh, not uh, very well known there in terms of you know most of the people from india who go there are in technology whether it's in rocket science doing nasa or it is just uh, writing python code and things like that so we have to look at what is going to happen from there in terms of trade and things like that but at the same time i'll tell you today post covid when you look at it in the history of india it never happened our foreign reserves are the highest at this point in time the amount of money we have got in foreign reserves is uh, stupendous human among us at the point in time so when you talk about the next area is looking at will the rupee further depreciate it is at around hovering around 75 right now is it going to depreciate in which case we should look at export 
is the rupee getting stronger then we should look at something which is importing or make in india and things like that so these are the things which will make a lot of difference for us and kpmg let me see if i can uh, bring that slide on uh, people just tell me if you can see that slide okay so kpmg is uh, can you see my slide uh, somebody can answer uh, dinesh ji yogesh ji can you see the slide hello is my screen visible yogesh ji dinesh ji mr beta i don't know anyway so kpmg is when you look at what the government of india done for us when you look at it uh, i'll go right to the bottom first we had this lockdowns in during these lockdowns we what we had was uh, we had a scare of uh, uh, you know whether we're going to be economically strong or not and then we have to open up and things like that and so on then we looked at the economics and we looked at what was announced by the finance minister at that point in time saying that you no know, 2 billion dollars were given as relief package at that point in time and it's distributed and they are looking at tax benefits they are looking at employment which has to increase not only in the urban area but also in the rural area as you know the urban area has got less population compared to the rural area then therefore this is what they are talking about direct benefit healthcare related social security each one of these areas is one area for us for employment so this is what the government of india has done it's a very detailed document by kpmg we should all look at uh, how we can uh, understand more from that okay important point we should talk about after covering all these areas network for value it's very very important start now you have to look at who am i can talk to who can list down the people and find out why they are important for you and prioritize them and say that okay if uh, mr x is very important he is working in an it company he has given what is experience he can explain those are the kind of we should look at brush up your skills remember one thing if you don't brush up your skills it is like learning cycling i learned cycling when i was a uh, teenage boy today i am 50 plus my cycling won't be as good as it was practice so skills and competencies and strengths have to be practiced on a regular basis you have to brush them up brush them up work on your weaknesses some somebody says uh, i don't have uh, very good communication skills so what am i doing about that am i going to still say that uh, yes i don't have communication skills or am i going to show some capability and some confidence and learn how to communicate well resume writing remember use a good template for resume writing if you don't write a good resume that is the document which is going to sell you as a candidate if it doesn't look good no body is going to come and talk to you at all work for a group you have so many people you know four four or five of you form a group and target one industry retail target uh, lk target agriculture telecom target any one of them have a common reason for why you need to target them research create a, what you call a, a data a fact sheet of uh, you know telecom you are going to 5g what are the technology used and so on drive end to end you know the, the entire thing should be like you know don't don't do it today and uh, forget it tomorrow that cannot be done we have to look at what needs to be done then care and share build dashboards you know it is important to practice if i have learned python i should create reports using python not excel sheets that is where the difference is tomorrow when you talk about it not only i have used python during my time of experience but i have also learned to use it for my own group and thing like that and remember training is investment on yourself you have to find ways of keeping yourself on top or above the rest of them it is competition even if there are four or five of you in one group one will always be better than the rest of them you have to understand why because that person stays sharp for some it comes easily for some others you have to work hard on that you have to make sure of that energize yourself you have to keep looking at things say that covid or no covid i have to do what i have to do remember your priority is to look at how good as an engineer i am how well i have understood what i have understood in iot or cyber security or main frames or java programming or c++ programming or whatever and things like that and share your resume with the right people don't flood the market with your resumes because the chana wala will use it and put chana and give there's no point in sharing it where it is not going to get you anything be very careful with whom you are sharing and if you are sharing ask them like if i share my resume with you how soon will i know yes or no please give me a date you have to be very clear how you have to communicate with them otherwise they they will run away with your this thing now the last slide challenges challenges will always be there you know challenges and opportunities they are two sides of the same coin remember that they are two sides of the same coin 
got opportunities you have the qualification you have the experience of learning something you have the skills you have the competencies you can talk about it this will have to beat that you have a quiver full of arrows which are your skills and competencies and uh, talent and whatever it is you have to fire at the challenges and my last uh, three uh, lines for all of you young people is don't regret the past oh i should not have done this i should not have taken up a python course i spent a lot of money no don't regret the past what the die is cast if you have done that you have done it because there was a reason for that live with that face the present with confidence don't be casual don't uh, you know think of saying that uh, let me go and try i may or may not get in your mind if you are telling that the mind is going to as i told you it is a seat for emotions say, okay let me try it is just fun no intellect says if i am not going to get it let me not go there if i am going to get it let me prepare for that so face the present with confidence third is don't fear the future if you have finished your btech and you or you got one year to we don't know what's going to happen in the future live in the present my whole idea is challenges will always be there but your opportunities are looking at how do you defeat those challenges this is my session and if there are any questions i can take this i'll turn it over to uh thank you very much sir uh, all participants if you have any question please raise your hand in the zoom the raise hand option is available when you click on participants and in the participant window on the right hand side bottom corner or you can write type in a chat box and then i'll unmute your microphone all participant please if you have any question raise your hand ask your questions directly to the sir Okay, sir. I think there are no questions at this time. You can also share your questions through chat, so the host can read your questions. All participants, please raise your hand or put the chat question in the chat box. do not hesitate even if it's a small question big question doesn't matter if it's question if the doubts are in your mind it's very important is also like your sir is saying it's important if i'm going for a session whatever the session is i should first understand why am i going there i'm not going to ask any questions i'm going to going to get any answers somebody should be bold enough to ask one question Okay, sir. I think it's done. Yeah, you okay, sir? Go ahead. Okay, sir. Uh, I I received one question in chat. The question is: Which sector in IT and which sector in software industry will be more promising in the future? Okay, that's the question. Yes. Sir. Okay. so if you if you look at uh, the sectors which will be in it which will be very very important one is uh, cyber security one is iot iot is, is going to be in every frame of life whether it is healthcare or agriculture or automation if you look at an automobile today it is called a advance of mobility you can control you know, if you watch f1 races most of it is controlled from uh, by the engineers through iot iot is something which is very critical Uh, you will definitely look at uh, when you talk about IoT. You will have to understand a good. Uh, you have to get a good understanding of all the sensors. Look at uh, how you use the sensor through uh, interfaces like computer programs or frameworks, and then provide solutions. You have to look at programming, which is in terms of JavaScript, in terms of Python. We can look at uh, you know something like uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. If you know what uh, Raspberry Pi is, it's not a micro uh, computer. It's basically a single board computer on which uh, you will install a lot of things like a. Uh, The graphics, uh, uh, like a CPU, you'll have a, a GPU, you'll have ROM, you'll have internet IOs and things like that. Internet port, you'll have a USB port, you'll have a micro HDMI on that. So all those things will be there. And I think um, some of the students in the university are 
already using that we have to also look at uh, typically you know if you if you're working on the iot space you'll have to look at uh, what are the uh, top protocols that are i should know about zigbee then uh, bluetooth how bluetooth actually works what is the range and thing like that then uh, coap dds uh, nfc those kind of thing then you also have to look at what kind of boards that i can <coughs> sorry talk about in the raspberry pi is one area but or do you know you know r3 which is running at 16 megahertz then uh, you have got particle photo on there you got ada fruit there's so many things which you have to know so if you know all these things then you know what the spread of iot is and how it will then you talk about uh, embedded systems embedded systems are very critical they are actually broadly classified into four areas mobile embedded systems network embedded systems stand alone embedded systems and real time embedded systems rtos real time embedded systems which are there these are the four areas which it is into this thing so with, where we use this and is there something in in line where i am going for an interview and things like that so it has opened a lot of areas if you look at iot the, you can be a designer in the cat space it requires iot when you look at uh, material specialist uh, need to have an understanding of material so today when you talk about uh, looking at the uh, movement of material material quality and things like that you are using a lot of these sensors gps spots and things like that embedded engineer network engineer where you look at uh, computing uh, network computing architecture design and so on cloud engineer data scientist data visualization so so iot cyber security when you talk about data visualization already uh, things like ai and ml will kick in so those are the kind of areas which are there and uh, you know uh, from the uh, uh, most of the faculty members and the management in most colleges know that ibm offers these programs uh, independent of uh, platforms and those are the areas they actually took up because they were looking at the market test engineers understand test uh, engineers are now when you talk about testing it is not the manual testing or the automated testing which is there now you have to talk about testing your uh, iot based devices it's a completely different way of looking at it and i also look at uh, you people as uh, fresh grads there are a lot of opportunities in uh, you know if you go to linkedin linkedin has got huge there at least uh, uh, just before the uh, this session th- this morning when i was looking at naukri times job uh, monster uh, job rapido and things like that i found at least 10000 vacancies in iot in all these areas that's why i i remember all the areas that you know whether it is going to be a test engineer or cloud engineer where you are looking at iot similarly analytics analytics can be applied anywhere across board whether it is manufacturing healthcare retail telecom you name it it services academia everywhere it can be applied when you look at you know what i would suggest is as a project when you are talking to your guide if you are going to do a project take one area like this cyber security iot analytics or uh, programming and thing like that tell your guide that i would like to do something for the institution what can i do it could be something like meal management how your cafeteria works or it could be something like attendance management anything which you think is there and don't worry if it, if something is already existing there you can do something always better if wipro was the only company in it infosys would never have uh, survived no if infosys and wipro were there accenture would never have survived there are different ways of doing the same thing more effectively more efficiently less costly better quality and so on so think of how you can use what skills you have got and don't uh, bring in uh, four people with the same skills try to bring in with uh, diverse skills and see if you can build something what is required for the project that's what you should know so top jobs in technology are going to be in these areas while the other jobs are still there because you see one is the workforce retirement happens today people who are in uh, in the uh, technology side who are general managers are more fearful of the job losses because you have to be hands on at different different ages if you're not hands on then you know we don't require somebody who is a general manager kind of a person anymore i hope that answers the question okay any more questions uh mr faizan go ahead and ask your question please uh okay sir uh, i was uh, asking about uh, devops Uh, so nowadays in computer science uh, this devops field is uh, having a high salary package and it's growing rapidly but uh, some of some people said that it it is same as a dot com boom which happened in 90s that uh, it uh, it is growing rapidly and that it suddenly uh, crashed down uh, i i think uh, nowadays azure aws and all are uh, making much applications in uh, devops which which the uh, uh uh which reduce the job of devops so do you think that uh, devops is a n- nice field uh, is still a nice field to go for a cs student
Uh, I cannot hear you, sir. Uh, Thanks for that question. So, DevOps, you know, if, if you're saying that your question is very vague, let me tell you that. You have to present your question a little better. I'm only telling this uh, because I'm interested in you looking at a career where you are able to go through much more easily than the uh, rest of them because you have the courage to ask a question. DevOps is a framework. It can be used in any of the talk about. When you talk about AWS cloud, virtual storage is the most important thing that's happening right now. You know why? For two, three reasons. One is security. When you talk about uh, Azure or when you talk about AWS, you get an end-to-end -end solution. It is just not storage. They give you CPU slice, they give you security, they do a DC, uh, BC, BCP DR, it's called Disaster Recovery and Business Continuity Program. Elasticity, you know, one day your bill will be more and the next day your bill can be less and those kind of things. So that is why they are the famous things which are there. But when you talk about uh, what kind of jobs are there, you'll have to look at, uh, you know, uh, uh, what am I good at, first of all? DevOps is one area. And see, you say somebody told you, who is this somebody? Is he from the IT field? Is he or she from the IT field? If they are from the IT field, did you pump them for more questions? Did you read up about what is DevOps? Did you know that DevOps... Uh, can talk about development, which is there. It is looking at an agile methodology. DevOps is an agile methodology. Agile methodology came in when we were looking at, see, when, when we as uh, coders and programmers, as software engineers, when we used to go to a customer, we used to freeze the requirement. It's called scope freezing. And we'll say that we'll only do this, we'll not do anything more. Outside the scope, we'll charge you more. So today we are not talking about that. We are talking about agile is where the customer can, uh, uh, it's called scope creep. Customer can change the scope. We can charge more, but we will still take into account what needs to be done. So DevOps is basically it's a framework. So there are some practices that you actually use when you're using DevOps, whether as a developer or in the cloud and so on. So when you say what is meant by DevOps and what kind, what does a DevOps engineer do? DevOps engineer looks at agility as one. It's a framework. It is efficient code writing. It is uh, you know uh, over, uh, deployment over the different networks lot of things done. So as I said, it's, it's a method and a framework which needs to be done. So uh, provide of things which you talk about in terms of uh, jobs. You'll have to look at, are you looking at a database? Then you'll have to write SQL. So DevOps comes into play there. Are you looking at a web programming? Then again, DevOps comes in there also. Are you looking at something which is a broker? You know, ODBC, Oracle uh, Broker or Java, JDBC kind of thing. Then DevOps comes into that also. So in addition to that, you'll have to look at uh, stuff which will help you to project yourself as a front-end, back-end, or a middleware program. If that is into development. If you're looking at infrastructure, then you look at architecture of network. You look at how you write uh, server-side scripts like SQL and so on, triggers, alerts, and those kind of things, which is on the database side. That's how DevOps works. OK? There's one question in the chat box. I'm going to read out that question. It's from Mr. Anirudh from TYBCA. He says, there are many options that are claimed to be promising areas of IT. How to choose one out of that and work on the skills required in that direction? Yeah. So this is a good question. I would say that, you know, first uh, you do a little bit of introspection. So first look at, my, see, it is like this, you know, uh, Anirudh, right? His name is, so Anirudh, uh, when you are running a race, I can run a sprint, which is 100 meters, 200 meters, or I can run a marathon. For both these races, you have different sets of muscles which are developed in your legs. The guy who is running 100 meters, 200 meters, he actually develops different set of muscles. The guy who is running long distance, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that, marathon kind of things, the 5,000 meters and so on, they develop different kind of muscles. So first find out what is your capability. Am I good in logic? Am I good in reasoning? Am I good in coding? Then I have to look at something. Am I interested in data? I can visualize how the data reports we should look at. Then I should go for analytics. Or I should go for data warehousing. I should go for uh, database and things like that. Am I interested in understanding you know, how machines work? I can open up, uh, I can configure a network. I understand the voice over IP. Then you should go for IT. First, to uh, do a little bit of introspection to find out. Let me tell you, in all these areas, in all these areas, including mainframe, there are plenty and plenty and plenty of jobs. If you are only looking for the right person. Now look at it. When you go to Amazon for an interview, Amazon does not hire a tester, a developer, a database engineer, and things like that. They have something called SD1, Software Developer 1. The Software Developer 1 has got less than five years of experience. He or she should be able to do end-to-end -end of code. Not only code, writing code, testing code, deploying code, making sure support is there, documenting that. All those things have to be done. So if you're going to be a programmer, understand what is on the hardware side. 
or on the architecture side understand what is on the testing side understand what is on the user side so that gives you a perspective of where you are standing there i hope uh, i have answered your question sir uh, one question more uh, since it and software industry is changing of very very fast since last you know almost decade and more than decade uh, how to keep uh, updated ourselves with the technologies happening or, and how to you know find out which technology will be dominating in the future so that we can start preparing from now very good that's a very good question uh, let me tell you as i am talking to you uh, I, when i quit from my corporate job and took up this uh, teaching job i did not know python i am learning python right now okay i know java i know javascript i have written code in c and c++ just like you have written in college so now what i'm saying is like you know i i'm doing it because i need to tomorrow if i'm going to talk to you about python i should know what is python before i can tell you something i feel that is my duty now i am trying to keep myself equipped for the uh, environment rather than looking at which is the best environment i go in there so everybody went to a a bank this is a story like you know, everybody went to a bank they deposited in money so yes bank became no bank bank went fat so i am saying that no don't put all your eggs in one basket or one technology keep learning i was actually mentioning in the uh, presentation also you have to devote time to invest in yourself which is training skilling and certification today if you don't have a certification that means what is happening is you are left even for 6 months or one year if you don't learn something new you are going to fall behind remember this very very clearly today when i am looking at if i know 4g very well 5g is already coming the moment i am talking about i know java very well python has come in the moment i know markup language one i know very well in big data something else something else has come up and so on so you have to look at in each one of these area if i am a developer what are the faster efficient less costlier easy and user friendly uh, tools which are coming in the market no at least be aware of what is happening and, and if you have a uh, liking for that get into that but don't uh, look at not investing on yourself every year year on year you need to invest on yourself to know more and more about yourself i will also tell you one more thing many times what happens is like you know we look at growth in india we look at growth after 5 years i have to become a project lead then i have to become a project manager then i have to become a general manager and all of us want to become a ceo one day whether we know the job or not but we definitely want to become that but if you look at it the some of you are individual contributors in the sense you will become very strong technically nobody can touch you so that is a different growth path if you want to look at product engineering if you want to get uh, uh, you know uh, what do you call that uh, product uh, uh, related work if you want to become an architect solution architect then that's growth also your salary and your thing will grow but you won't have a team so you have to look at it should i be looking at that also as an option so there are quite a few things which needs to be done so you have to evaluate and once you get into any corporate any firm which is there small medium large whatever it is you have to find your way through that maze okay but if you are running your own company you have different challenges you have the liberty to become the ceo and also the the peon the peon the clerk the finance the head uh, head of hr the sales the ceo all of that is you so you will also learn things differently so keep your mind uh, open keep your eyes and ears and open to understand what's happening around you okay that is most important that is awareness i hope i have answered your question ah uh, yogesh sir uh, there is no more question in the chat box now yes sir sir one question from my side that i am facing nowadays like it is a admission spirit and most of the parents are coming and interacting with me mm -hmm. so most of the companies even including ibm they have adapted to lay off employees and mm -hmm. we read the updates even from microsoft also they are having the similar thoughts so these are few of the best top companies in the software market which are laying off the employees so because of this anxiety and during this uh, stressful situation the parents are worried about that what will be the future of this sector in coming 3 to 4 years if the rest of the economy is not going to get stronger then definitely the software industry is dependent on those other fields so can we see the growth in those other sectors on which the software and it sector is dependent on yeah that's a very good in fact um, i remember when i when i went to uh, ups in dehradun for counseling for the first time uh, the, the the parent was a network engineer and uh, he was telling us saying that listen i don't want my son to uh, be you know type and he has to know everything about it So our answer to him was like you know he is going to learn everything. It is just like C plus plus. In addition, he is going to be stronger in one area. 
so when people ask those kind of questions you have to look at it saying that no today we some just now uh, i think dinesh ji or uh, mehta ji mentioned thing that today we, we are at the cornerstone of technology technology in my 35 years i have never seen technology advancement as it is advanced today there so many different things in technology which is making life easy for everybody so technology is now a game changer it's no longer an enabler it is not like i'm using a laptop to use tally or lotus something like that i'm using technology to do things much faster so technology will never be separated from any domain i'm even making a strong claim that even in agriculture you'll see technology pharma you are seeing it hospitality you are seeing it healthcare you are seeing it telecom you are seeing it everywhere you will see that now if technology is the most important thing there's no question of it dying down it will come out in a new avatar that's all which is there that's the reason i'm saying that no you learn what is what we are teaching right now is the current which is required i cannot predict what is going to be the future but we know that you know sometime in the next one or two years if things are going to change we'll bring that in so if we are teaching you iot today we can teach you something which is latest in iot if i'm teaching you cloud today i can teach you something which is more latest in cloud which is being applied in real life problems so my answer to that would be saying that no the technology is not going to go anywhere technology is like the air which we breathe we don't see it but it's there everywhere okay without air nobody is going to live whether it is that air has got uh, uh, you know corruption like covid 19 or something it is air is there so we have to find out how you understand technology so you can apply it in the area that you want and if you get certified in technology and you let's say that you, you are a computer science engineer get certified in technology you work in a bank like i did i worked in a bank i didn't know how a bank functions i'm not talking about a bank like this but i was managing data centers for across the world for 60 different countries i was managing my team was 1752 people across uh, bombay bangalore and uh, hyderabad uh, plus i had people in hong kong and things like that so you understand the the, the the way technology brings all these things together if something breaks you have to find out how you can manage whole thing so invest in yourself more regularly find out what you need to do it is not uh, if you looking at a career your career is not one job right? it is one job for a long period of time or many job for many many years so how do you keep yourself uh, fit for that you have to learn new things in the same area that you are working in or either in the form of technology or in the form of domain manufacturing is changed with the internet uh, of things coming in healthcare is changed with you know analytics coming in so you need to know how to apply that in domain i hope that answers your question sir yeah thank you very much uh, shushma shushma ma'am please go ahead and ask your question shushma ma'am Shushma, ma'am, please go ahead. Go ahead and ask your question. Maybe she's on mute. Shushma, ma'am. No, I can lose. No. Okay, okay, sir. Turn from my side. Uh, you guys are done from my side. Sure, sure, sure. So, any more questions, please, from any participant? Okay, so we can conclude that your all the questions are addressed by one of the other questions that are being posted here. So. we all definitely enjoyed your talk sir a lot and it was a great listening after a long time because of this pandemic situation we couldn't be in a touch for a longer period of time uh, thank you very much for sparing your time with us so oh, my pleasure yogesh ji just one yes, one yes. suggestion i have if uh, you know you yogesh ji it was uh, you who approached me and said that you know would you like to address our students and uh, i definitely feel that uh, your students are, are lucky to have somebody like yourself uh, dinesh ji and mehta ji to look after and uh, i met uh, your dean uh, and i met rajesh ji they are wonderful people who think of the students and like that but i would also like to think of the students asking you ask a topic which you can talk about like i do a, i do programs on certified ethical hacking i do web development i do on python in fact next week i'm doing something on certified ethical hacking for another university find out topic which are useful and you know what if you come prepared for the topic then we can exchange ideas i can also learn something from you but it's been excellent and uh, thank you very much all of you for uh, this opportunity for me to speak to all and wish you all a good day stay safe stay secure
थैंक यू सर सुषमा मैम कैन वी हैव यू सर कैन यू प्लीज अनम्यूट यू हैड क्वेश्चन अर्लियर क्वेश्चन फॉर सर Uh, no no i was for a okay, vote of fine. thanks okay. so i request sushma ma'am to please uh, join us and give the word of thanks for this session so please ma'am okay uh, thank you sir uh, respected mr suresh pulisu sir dear faculty members and all the participants it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks and i on behalf of the cacit department and navrashna university extend a very hearty vote of thanks to the honorable speaker who took out valuable time of your busy schedule and blessed us with your deep knowledge about how to prepare ourselves to learn and get job ready in this post covid era Uh, Mr Suresh sir also motivated us about being global to local and how the technology became a game changer in the areas like healthcare agriculture how work from home become so popular and post covid challenges opportunities for multiple startups and research so thank you once again sir for enlightening us with a great knowledge sharing session uh i would also like to thank mr vikas saraswat sir for getting in touch with the speaker Mr Dinesh sir for scheduling meeting and making all the arrangements thank you Mr Animesh Bhatt sir for reaching to multiple attendees by creative promotions and i must mention our deep sense of appreciation for uh, navrashna administration for providing all possible support to organize this wonderful session i would also like to thank faculty members from bca cac it for attending this session and uh, last but not the least I thank all the participant of Navrashna family and other institute who attended this informative webinar wholeheartedly and thank you so much for your cooperation. Thank you very much ma'am. Okay, thank you gentlemen and uh, uh, Sushma ji uh, for your wonderful words and it only makes me feel happy that I I spent a good hour with all of you and I enjoyed it I hope you also did. Thank you so much.